Private mortgage insurance, or PMI, protects lenders against loss if a borrower defaults. Most lenders require home buyers to buy PMI when upon purchase the home buyer puts down less than 20% of the house's value. PMI can be a benefit or a detriment to a home buyer depending on the circumstances. Say a young person in her mid-20s wants to buy a home, but she has yet to save enough money to make much of a down payment. The PMI allows her to make a small down payment and buy the house, something she couldn't have done if the lender insisted on a large amount down. Meanwhile, the borrower must pay between 0.25% and 2% of the loan balance each year, depending on her down payment size, loan term, and credit score. For example, if the buyer borrows $200,000 and pays 1% PMI, that's another $167 she'll owe each month. The greater risk factor she presents, the higher her rate. PMIs are a percentage of the loan, so bigger loans mean larger PMI bills. Borrowers must pay their PMI each month until they build enough equity to no longer be deemed a high risk. Once a borrower pays off 22% of the purchase price, the lender must cancel the PMI. At closing, lenders provide a written statement of how long and how much money it will take the borrower to reach 20%. Borrowers can request an early cancellation by making extra payments and meeting other requirements. PMI only applies to conventional loans. Federal Housing Administration loans have their own mortgage insurance with different requirements. The Veterans Administration requires no mortgage insurance on its loans.